Have you ever wished you could upgrade your brain just like your phone? What if you could download new skills or delete awkward memories with a tap? Lost your car in the parking lot? Imagine installing a GPS straight to your brain. It sounds impossible, but not for long. Brain implants are real now. Tiny electronic devices that work with your nervous system to restore or boost brain function. The technology is still developing, but it's already changing lives in ways that used to be science fiction. From restoring vision and hearing to improving memory, brain implants are becoming a powerful tool in modern medicine. A brain implant is an artificial device designed to interact with your nervous system at a deep level. These devices patch up weak spots, record brain signals, or block abnormal activity, often in real time. This isn't a distant dream. Many people already rely on brain implants in their daily lives. Parkinson's disease disrupts the brain's ability to control movement. Everyday tasks can become extremely difficult. Doctors treat this by implanting electrodes in the brain, usually in the subthalamic nucleus. The electrodes connect to a pulse generator placed under the skin. The device sends small electrical pulses to regulate brain activity. Many people can walk, eat, and live more independently again. Specialists can fine-tune these devices to fit each person's needs, making treatment more personal and effective. Forgetfulness? Scientists are on it. In some studies, people with epilepsy got electrodes in their hippocampus, the memory hub. By recording brain signals during memory tasks, then zapping the same area later, people improved memory by about a third. Imagine your own brain backup drive. Just don't let anyone else borrow it. Implants need to be safe for the brain. Materials like gold and platinum iridium are used because they conduct electricity well and don't damage tissue. These materials help ensure implants work reliably and safely, often for many years. Can't see or hear. Sensory implants can bridge the gap. They hijack the nervous system to deliver signals your brain can use, even if the original wiring's a bit frayed. Let's walk through the bionic eye system. Step 1. Camera in your glasses captures what you see. Step 2. Video crunches the video into a brightness map. Think Minecraft mode for your vision and sends it to a transmitter. Step 3. The transmitter relays the signal wirelessly to a receiver on the side of the eyeball. No batteries required, just pure techno magic. Step 4. Implant zaps the retina's cells sending signals down the optic nerve. Your brain decodes the info and bam, you're seeing again. Normal hearing, sound wiggles your eardrum, bones pass the vibes, and the cochlea's hair cells make electricity for the brain. But what if that inner ear system breaks down? No worries, science brought backup, cochlear implants, a high-tech shortcut that sends sound straight to your brain, skipping the broken parts like a VIP pass through airport security. How it works. Cyborg hearing in five cool steps. Step one, a tiny microphone and sound processor pick up sound waves and convert them into digital signals. Think of them as your ears new tech savvy interns. Step two, these signals are wirelessly sent to a receiver implanted just under the skin behind your ear. Nope, no Bluetooth pairing required. Step 3. The receiver changes those signals into electrical impulses and sends them down into electrodes placed inside the cochlea. Basically, it's like wiring your ear for sound literally. Step 4. The electrodes stimulate your auditory nerve, nudging your brain like, hey, sound coming through, without the need for actual functioning hair cells. Step 5. Finally, your brain receives the impulses and interprets them as sound. Whether it's birds chirping, music playing, or someone yelling, Did you eat my fries? Your brain's back in business. Cochlear implants don't just restore hearing, they reboot your ears with software updates. Now if only we had a mute button for annoying noises too. All these mind-blowing hacks are still new. But every year, brain implants help more people regain movement memory, sight, and sound. Maybe one day, there'll be an implant to stop you from losing your keys. 
military scientists have gone extra wild, installing chips in cockroaches, moths, and sharks, turning them into bio drones for bomb sniffing and spy missions. Spy mouse anyone? James Bond, eat your heart out. But, hold your horses. Brains are trickier than IKEA furniture. Mapping exactly where to plug in is hard. And no, you can't just turn it off and on again if it glitches. Researchers are still figuring it out. The big questions. Who gets to use these gadgets? Is your brain still yours? If it's half software? What if someone hacks your memories and replaces your first kiss with a cheese commercial? Welcome to the great debate. Are we becoming superhuman cyborgs? Or is this all just really fancy mind control? Tech giants are racing in. Neuralink, Synchron, CTRL Labs. Dreaming of a world where you control devices with a thought. Download new skills overnight. Or copy-paste your memories across the planet. Just imagine. Hey Google, install Spanish. Brain implants aren't just about fixing broken stuff. They're expanding what it means to be human. Hope, fear, next level selfies, plus that nagging thought. If your brain isn't just yours anymore, are you still you? No matter how much the world upgrades, never forget. Your human heart is always the real deal. And luckily, it still runs on love, not lithium. Upgrade your brain all you want, but don't forget to back up your heart.